Well, it's Sam and Joyce here. Today we're going to set our traps in a little different area. You know, we had a tip for some crabs in this area. And we fit, we crabbed here years and years ago. We used to scoop them up with a net on the bottom when we were fishing on the flats. And we caught some really big crabs. So we'll get back to you when we're setting the traps. Well, today we're going to bait our traps up with mostly chicken. We don't have many uh, fish carcasses left. I've been fishing in a while. No, it's, it's too rough. rough. Yeah, it's rough. It's windy again and today, it, but not real bad. No, it's not bad now, no. but in a couple days we'll maybe be able to get offshore. But we're going to just try chicken, and that works out pretty good. We've done what, real well with chicken in the past. Nice chicken. And chicken's cheaper than buying uh, crab bait. Okay, Joyce, put the first one in this new spot right here. There we go. Catch some crabs. Yes. Might as well put it here, Joyce. I don't have a clue. We haven't crabbed here in so long. I mean, let's just try it. Well, this looks good, Joyce. Okay. We'll put the yellow one right here. Looks like we got almost all chicken. So what's this, number six, Joyce, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's put it here. Oh, we're looking at you snagged the line up. See if the buoy sinks. Nah, it's not that deep. It's the last one. Almost came back in the boat. Yeah, you on the head with that. Well, we got all seven of our traps set, so we're going to leave them set for a day or maybe two days, so we'll get back to you when we're pulling. Well, our trap's been soaking for two days. We're going to pull them in now. We're hoping for the best. We're coming up on our first trap. You feel them, Joyce? I don't know. You don't know. I think so. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Yes, like you yeah, well, got. size of that trap. Uh, uh, stone Dice. crabs too, but that's a nice crab. That's Look at beautiful this. crab. Man, they ate the chicken up. Though. We ate the chicken up. Ooh, should be more know. crabs in there. But that's worth it. Look at the size of that crab. Oh yeah, it's a big old crab. Look at the size of them fellows on that stone. Yeah, them stone crabs, they're everywhere. Here's our second trap. I hope we do better than that. That's a nice crab. <coughs> we want more crabs than that. That's the yellow one. I see one. Big crabs up. Yeah, look at them. Three of them in there. Four. Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah, four. Huh. All nice crabs. It look like they're all males, too, don't it? Uh-huh. And they like chicken. Now, that's funny. Look, there's plenty of chicken left. The other yeah. one, the chicken was all here, though. They got barnacles on them. That shell's been on for a while. Look at them. All big males. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we used to come in this spot years ago and just scoop them up with a net. Barnacles on this guy. Yellow belly, rusty belly, whatever you want to call it. I see one. Four again. Four again. That's good. Those crabs, they're really good crabs. We get four in the trap. There's nothing wrong with that. They're so big. Yeah. And they're all males. 
funny, the other area, if you don't go far from here, it's all females. Look how yellow that guy is. He's really yellow. <laughs> yeah. We've been getting a lot of them lately. Yeah. Chicken, all chicken too. We have... Such nice size. What are they, about six, seven inches? Some of them are. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Some... This is wonderful. Oh, get out of there, Mr. Yellow. Okay, here's number four. Let's see if we can get five crabs, keep building it up. At least they're here. Oh, yeah. We always wonder if they're still out here. Feel them, Joy? Them so. big crabs, you should feel them. Heavy trap, so oh, it's hard to feel them there. Let's see. What do we got? One. Three and a stone. And so four crab. Yeah, one stone. They're, these are smaller stone crabs. The other stone. Yeah. All right, that's good. Stone crab with eggs, too. Everyone's a male here. It's so funny, you go about a, what, a couple miles from here, they're all females. Number five, see what this one has. We still gotta catch at least five blue crabs in one. Beat our record. I see something. I see one anyway. Maybe that's that one. Two. You, two. You fell two. Number six. Oh, that's the thing. We're not getting a lot, but they're really good quality crabs. All right, this is our last one. Okay, Joyce, feel a lot of them. Yeah, I hope. Last one. Our last chance. At least more than one. I, I can see... No, I see a blowfish. <clears throat> last one only has two. No, I think it's good. Down this way wasn't as good. No. Look at the yellow of that guy. Oh, let me yellow. see. Yeah, look at him. He's super yellow. This is, they're all like this. Plenty of meat in them. Yeah. That's funny. Everyone was a male, too. Nice, nice crab. <laughs> well, there's some nice crabs, aren't they, Joe? Oh, they're wonderful crabs. They're all big males. Yep. All rusty on the bottom, like we like. The last couple of times we've been getting a lot of really uh, meaty crabs. Yeah. So we got about, I guess, 17 or so in there at least. So we're happy with them. We we're hoping to catch more, of course. We always want to catch more. Crabs, oh yeah, right? we're hogs. <laughs> Seems like when you catch more, though, they don't have as much meat in them. No. You ever notice that? Yep. Yeah. So we're going to head in now, and uh, we'll get back to you when we're back at the house.
We're trying to think of something special to cook these crabs for the 4th of July. You know, this video was taken during the 4th of, before the 4th of July weekend. So you might not see it for a while, but that's when it is. So we're going to make something special. So we'll get back here when we get back to the house. Nice, lively crabs, too. We just got home and we ended up with 17 crabs. Nice heavy crabs. These are nice crabs. Beautiful crabs. Yep. And you said you're going to make uh, crab, burgers. crab burgers for the 4th of July, right. right? Which is only, what, three three days from now. Yep. First we got to clean the crabs, then we're going to boil them up. Right. Then I'll pick them tomorrow. Then you'll have the meat ready for when mm -hmm. you make the crab burgers. Right. Should be a lot of meat there. Yeah. Make a lot of crab burgers. Right. So we're going to show you how we clean and we'll clean one crab to show you how we do it. I had a few people ask us how you clean a crab, so we'll show you how to clean a crab right now. First you get your gloves on, right? That yes. way they don't bite you. Uh, sometimes I do it without gloves. These won't bite you. <laughs> well this crab's been on ice. And you can see he's not moving. He's lethargic. He's really lethargic. Sometimes you think they're dead. Sometimes you don't want them in ice water because they'll drown. Just keep them on ice, keep them cold. Sometimes I do it without doing this. Yeah, this it, is, yeah. And then he gets bit. This is the humane way. Keep them on ice. And you grab them by the swim fin. That's how I do it. Just, you know, other people do it different ways. Grab it by the swim fin and by the uh, back of the point. Just pull the shell off, and that's it. You put them in your pile. We got these all done. Also, pull the apron, apron off too. These ones are all done. We'll pull the apron off and break the face off. And we're gonna go out and with a hose blow all the lungs off, you know, and the guts. Well, we use the hose to blow the gills off. Well, if it's raining out and it's too miserable to that, we use a toothbrush and scrub the nuts out with it. So this is the quickest way. It's the best way. We don't have to clean your crabs. You can cook them whole. But the only reason I do it, it'll be a lot quicker tomorrow when I'm picking them. I don't have to deal with all the guts in the shell and all. I can pick them a lot faster because I'm a slow picker. <laughs> What I'm doing here, I'm going to take a, two tablespoons of garlic powder in the water before we put the crabs in. The same amount with the Old Bay. You can use more if you'd like, but we, we like to taste the crab meat. And I'm going to take a, about a tablespoon of salt. Out in there. This is a big pot with a lot of crabs, so let's use a, um, a half a cup of white vinegar. And that's supposed to make it easier to pick. I'll see. Hose. I'll see tomorrow how easy it is. It usually works. Yeah. Take a couple of nice bay leaves of that, you know, just. Crumble them up. Get them in there. And just take a whisk and just stir it up real quick. Get it dissolved. And just let that come to a nice rolling boil. And then we'll put the crabs in. Okay, it's rolling boil. Yeah, it's a rolling boil. Hold it. This thing gets hot. So we're just going to drop the crabs in. So you probably won't put any more spice in. I might, I might put a little more in here. Next one? Yeah. 
sprinkle just a little in full bang, not much. I just like to see the red on the crab a little bit. And we're starting to like old bag more than we used yeah. to like. And it. Tony's actually, I, I'm starting to like that. It's hot, but it's you got good. obey on the potatoes. And oh yeah. <laughs> okay, put the lid back on. What's nice with this is the glass lid. You can see what's going on in there. Mm -hmm. That way you don't boil over. Okay, we're up to a nice rolling boil. They look pretty in there, don't they? Mm hmm. Look real good. Okay. Now we'll just put lid back on and we're going to set that for 10 minutes and just keep an eye on it. It shouldn't boil over. Crabs are done. Oh, As nice. usual, they smell good. Oh, yeah. There they are. Yeah. Look at the meat in that crab. He's packed full of beef. Wow. That's a nice pile of crabs. Mm-hmm. Well, they got to cool down. I'll pick them tomorrow and we'll get back to you when we're making the crab burgers. So, Joyce, what are we having for dinner this uh, 4th of July? Well, we're going to have blue crab burgers. Sounds good. Okay, for the, uh, the ingredients, you're going to need one pound of crab meat. You're going to need one cup of breadcrumbs. A half a cup is going to go in the burgers. The other is a reserve to ro roll the burgers in that. Going to need some nice tomato to put on the, the burger when you're done. Two tablespoons of chopped sweet red peppers. Three tablespoons of finely chopped celery. Two tablespoons of finely chopped carrots. One teaspoon of Old Bay. An eighth teaspoon of white pepper. One egg. A third cup of mayonnaise. Three tablespoons of butter one tablespoon of oil and some uh, hot sauce you're only going to use a little bit of that about a couple drops in, in the rest in the burgers and that's it well first you're going to whip up your egg and just dump it in the bowl dump in the red crumbs The mayonnaise in there. You put your uh, celery, your peppers, and your carrots in there. A couple drops of the hot sauce. The spices. Now you're just going to mix these up. Pretty anyway. It looks pretty. It'll be prettier in a few minutes. Yeah, you put the good stuff in. Yeah. Make sure you get all this really mixed good because you don't want to do all this stirring once you get the crab meat in here. Yeah. Those crabs have uh -huh. a lot of meat. This is short. Uh -huh. Look how pretty it is. And what I like to do, I like to get in here with my hands. And you can feel it and get so you don't smash the crab up in there. So you want to do you want those lumps to show in your burgers. And those few crabs had a lot of meat, didn't they, Joyce? A tremendous amount of meat. We got another pound probably another pound of meat like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And there wasn't that many crabs, no. but they were really packed with meat. To get the meat out of the claws was real hard because it was really like it usually comes out of there kind of easy kind of in the claws. There, yeah. That's what you want it to look like. It's fairly on the stiff side. Now look at that beautiful pile of burger meat. So we're going to take burger meat. Yeah, <laughs> That's my kind of burger. So we take this is a quarter cup measure. So we're going to make a nice heaping quarter pounder crab quarter burger. quarter cup. Or yeah. <laughs> so you're going to take the remainder of your breadcrumbs sprinkle on a plate. You don't have to do this, but sometimes it makes it hold together. Just a little just a little dusting. Just shape them in. 
push them down a little bit. That big enough for you? Yeah, that's plenty. I can always eat another one. Right. Look at the meat in them. Look at it. It just sticks right out. Yeah, we mixed up the claw meat with the uh, back fin meat. Give a little different flavor that way. It's just so pretty. I just look at that meat. It is well, beautiful. Look at the, you can tell what kind of meat. Look oh. at the size of that. Yeah, it's big. Crab meat. It's got the claw meat sticking out of it. That's pretty. Okay, we're gonna get six, six burgers out of here. Yeah. Now we'll get ready to fry them. Okay, now we're going to put the oil and the butter in the frying pan. You want it down low as you can get it because you don't want to burn these butter burns. It's basically all the hotter you want to get it. Just a little bit. So this is something you can do if you catch a lot of crabs, right? Oh yeah. Like make a bunch of crab burgers and put them in the freezer. You want just a little bit of bubble and sizzle in there. You don't want to burn them. But basically you're not cooking anything, are you? Just kind of no. warming it up. Yep. I mean the crab meat's cooked. The only things not cooked are the, the celery and the carrots and the peppers but they'll soften up a little bit when you're um, frying these um, burgers. They smell good. It'll take probably maybe two minutes on each side like this to get it hot all the way through. Ready to flip them. Just a nice golden brown is what you want. And you can see how butter starts to brown a little bit. That's why I put the oil in there so it doesn't get real bad. Okay, let's just check them out, see if they're brown enough on that side. Yep, they're perfect. So they just drain off a little bit of the butter, a piece of paper towel. Well, Joyce, these crab burgers really look good. They're full of meat. And it was bread day also today, so we got homemade, uh, what do you call them, burger rolls? Right. Bread. Homemade bread. And what are these things? I don't really know what it's they're called. It's just something that made out of nowhere. I had some dough left over, so I rolled it out and put it in a cupcake holder and put them What's in a muffin a, pin. You call it some kind of tort? Yes, yeah, blueberries and strawberries and topped with coconut. And that's just the bread dough, is it? Mm hmm. Just the bread okay. dough. Yeah. Something, so a, little, go, something a little different. For the Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Right. Red, well, red, white, and blue with the. Coconut and blueberries and strawberries. Yeah, it looks good. So you're gonna try that burger, try a piece I, of it. I see a piece of that. Pick it up and right eat it. Messy, I think. I know. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just take a piece out of here. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's got the crunch of the uh, vegetables in here. Right. Mm -hmm. Anything we crab and it's good. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and thanks a lot for watching.